Okay, so let's have a look at this question on how to calculate the income tax or the PAYE for a particular person. So using the information provided, calculate the amount of income tax to be paid. Now it'll always give you these pieces of information for you to calculate the question. So you need to be given the standard rate cutoff or the standard rate of tax, that's 20%. So they will be, you will calculate 20% of a certain figure. And usually the figure you get is from their standard rate cutoff point. So you're going to get 20% of the standard rate cutoff point. The higher rate of tax then is at 40%. So any income that they earn above 35,300 is going to be taxed at 40%. So we're going to see their gross salary, which is 65,000. We're going to take away 35,300. And that figure is going to be 40%. That's going to give you your standard rate of tax and your higher rate of tax. You can add those two taxes together and then you're going to take away your tax credits. So let's have a look at the first part, 20%. So the higher rate of tax, <coughs> sorry, the standard rate of tax, 20%. How much do we have to calculate the 20% on? We calculate on the standard rate cutoff point. So these two words, standards, keep them together. So it's 20% of 35,000 300. So in your calculator then you're going to put 35,300 and you're going to multiply it by 20% which is 0.2 and that's going to give you 7,060. <clears throat> now the high rate of tax is anything above 35,300. So this person earns 65,000. That's their gross salary. So that's their salary before tax. And from that then we're going to take 35,300 to see how much they need to calculate it at 40%. So 65,000 minus 35,300. So 40% then is going to be taxed at 29,700. Okay, so your 20% is always taxed on the standard rate cutoff point. And then to find out how much is taxed at a higher rate, you're going to take the gross salary, you're going to take away the standard rate cutoff point to identify the figure to be high to be taxed at 40%. So then in your calculator, then you're going to put 29,700. And you're going to multiply that then by 0.4, which is 40%. So they're going to tax at 11,880. So now we've got the figure for 20% tax and for 40% tax. So his total tax then, we're going to add those two figures together. So you're going to add 11,880 plus 7,060. And that's going to give you 18,940. So 18,940 is your gross tax. Now remember, we don't pay the full amount, so the government doesn't get all that money. We've got these things called tax credits. So your tax credits reduces the amount of tax that you pay. So our tax credits in the question is 3,300. So if these tax credits reduce the amount of tax you pay, we want to take it away. So we're going to put 18,940, take away 3,300. So minus 3,300. And you get 15,640. So that's the amount of tax that this person has to pay when they earn 65,000. So remember, 20% is the standard rate of tax or the lower rate of tax. That 20% is multiplied by your standard rate cutoff point, which is 35,300. The higher rate of tax then is the difference between their gross income or their salary, take away the standard rate cutoff point. That'll see, that'll tell you how much is left to be taxed. So it's 29,700 by your 40%. And then you're going to add those two together. And then you're going to take away your tax from it. All these figures will be given to you in the question.